Hey guys, welcome to the Liberal Hive Mind, a channel solely focused on exposing the abundant hypocrisy of the left. You know, people think this is a gimmick, people think it's a bad argument, that it's just some cheap little tactic. But the only reason that's the reaction or that's the response is because they know we got them. They know they're awful hypocrites. This is a message to all leftoids. If you preach it, well, you better live it. If you're sitting on your high horse declaring everybody else should do something, well, you better be doing that thing or everything you stand for your entire political identity is simply a fraud let me show you guys a comedic clip that's bouncing around the internet could be real could be fake it could be staged who knows the point is it's funny and it's relevant we got some stuff to get into so let's roll the tape all right folks so we got a little i guess tiktok or maybe instagram video here which is either a prank or a little comedy skit but it's pretty much perfect take a look you just think that anyone can come to the u.s like absolutely if you go to the go to new york Go to the Statue of Liberty. What's it say? All is welcome. <laughs> I don't think it says that, but dude, this is great because okay. I just happened to pick up um, three guys from Honduras. Well, they were at Home Depot. They're they're from Honduras and they have nowhere to go. So okay. this just works out perfect. Look, um, Hector takes medication twice a day, <laughs> and <laughs> and right now they got to use the bathroom. All three of them. Uh, <laughs> is it cool if they stay here? No. No, hey, don't Why not? Don't know how to stay here. What do you mean? I don't know them. Who are they? Hey, what we do, we do. All right, so they can't stay here then? It's cool if they come to the country, just not your f***ing house? No, bro. Oh, come on, bro. No, 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 no. Come on, bro. Hey, hypocrite. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Sorry, man. Hip hypocrite. Now, if you preach it on others, you better live by it yourself. But obviously, when it comes to these leftist views, or I guess we could say the leftist standard is, rules for thee, but not for me. No human is illegal. Borders are racist. Republicans are terrible, and I would never vote for Republicans because their immigration policy is so deeply wrong and bigoted, unethical. All right, well, if that's the case, here are three Honduran illegal migrants. How's them? The reaction's the same every single time, 10 out of 10 times. Oh, crap, not me, not now. Because the leftist rule is NIMBY. Not in my backyard. We need this, and we should do this, and we should do that, says the leftist. But of course, what the leftist means by that is not we, it's you. You should pay for it. You should deal with the consequences. I make the rules, but other people implement and follow them. Yeah, that's not how that works. This right here, what you just witnessed, that little clip, that's essentially a microcosm of what's happening on the state or I guess national level. That guy, that's every single sanctuary city who declared themselves a sanctuary city and then the moment Texas decided that they created the problem, so, well, they're gonna ship the problem out of Texas and straight to the source, and now all of a sudden those people are crying confused and questioning, well, how did we get here? How did this happen? We're at capacity. We have been welcoming. We have been gracious. We have been supportive. But we have to point out the fact and make sure that people coming across the border who think there are plentiful hotel rooms and services in New York City, we hit our capacity. So we're asking other areas to embrace these individuals, but we're not going to compromise who we are as a state with the Statue of Liberty in our harbor. So that's what I want to be clear about. That's important. We'll retain that, but we just need a slowing right now to help us manage the people who've already come and let people know it's not the way it was a year ago. We're at capacity. Well, yeah, you are at capacity, but you are also dumb and you asked for it, and so... Can't bail you out on this one. This is called faux compassion. This is what virtue signaling looks like. You know, the typical compassionate Democrat thing. You know, they're all such good people. And all they want to do is tell you just how good they are. Just how much better than you they really are. You know, they love to put it out there into the atmosphere, but the moment push comes to shove, the moment it's time to act, all of a sudden their tone changes almost immediately. It's the same thing with nearly every single issue. It's why it's impossible to take leftists seriously. You know, if you're somebody who really believes in this great change, you know, this great thing, I mean, step number one would be to live by it and, of course, prove its merit. You do it. You show me. You can't go around shaming people for eating meat, calling people evil, terrible carnivores, animal killers, murderers, whatever it is, and then be caught at a steakhouse eating a $300 dry-aged tomahawk steak. Why? Well, because that makes you a damn hypocrite, and really nobody likes a hypocrite. And speaking of leftists preaching a big 
big game but not walking the talk. Here's another classic example, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, Mrs. Democrat Socialist, far lefty, near communist, big union supporter, and I mean big, big union supporter. At least that's what she'd have you believe. She loves to virtue signal about how she shops only at companies that are unionized, with good benefits, paying livable wages. Then, of course, this happens. You were quoted back in July saying you look forward to buying a union-made electric vehicle, but you buy but you currently have a non-union made mm -hmm. Tesla. UAW already makes some electric vehicles. Yes. So why wasn't that? Is it a problem with the the quality? Is it a problem with the style? Is the market just not there? Uh, no, the, our car was purchased uh, during the pandemic when travel mass, before a, a vaccine had come out. So travel between New York and Washington, the safest way that we had determined was an EV, but that was prior to um, some of the new models coming out on the market that had the range available. Uh, but we're actually looking into trading in our car now. So we're looking into it and hopefully we will soon. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure, sure, sure. I'm sure everybody believes you, but obviously nobody believes her because leftist words aren't worth the paper they're written on. They talk, talk, blah, 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 but they're always the biggest hypocrites. They talk to collect points to collect clout, internet virtue signaling points. That's what it's really about. It's about fame, it's about being on the magazine covers, it's about the media giving you good press, it's about appearing as a humanitarian, civil rights fighting celebrity. But what it really is, the whole thing, it's one big compassion grift. As if they give a you know what. Give me a break. It's very easy to be compassionate when it's somebody else's money. It's very easy if you're a youngster, who's never worked a day in their lives, to simply demand things like student loan forgiveness, free this, free that. It's very easy to demand that when you're not paying taxes, because what you're essentially doing is saying, I want somebody else to foot the bill. It's very easy to say, open the border, no human being is illegal, when Texas is the one that's dealing with the problem. It's very easy to say, shut your business down for the greater good of humanity, when you're still working from home, ordering your DoorDash Starbucks. If you demand it, if you believe it, then live by it, prove it, and if you don't, or if you can't, well then, very simply, I don't want to hear it. At least I certainly don't want to ever hear it coming out of your hypocritical face. That's the view, people think it's a gimmick, I don't. I think these tactics are the perfect way to expose liberal, fake, compassionate, virtue signaling hypocrisy. That's what I got for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and possibly subscribe to the channel. Of course, you know that we would love to have you here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.